by Greg Milam, U.S. correspondent Sirens warning of an impending nuclear attack from North Korea have been tested on the islands of Hawaii as tensions over Kim Jong-un's missile program continue to intensify. The Pacific Paradise is the first U.S. state to bring back a Cold War-era attack warning system, a wailing siren that had for a minute. It will now be tested every month. But officials are checking if some of the 385 warning sirens across the islands either malfunctioned or were not loud enough amid reports the alert was barely audible along the iconic Waikiki Beach in Honolulu. Image the warning would give people 20 minutes to take shelter ahead of an imminent missile strike beachgoers said the sirens were drowned out by the of crashing waves. The test, which was planned months ago, took place in the week North Korea fired what it claimed is its most powerful missile to date, a weapon which would easily reach the U.S. mainland. Hawaii, one of the closest U.S. territories to the Korean Peninsula, is home to military's headquarters for the Asia-Pacific region and a number of key bases, including Pearl Harbor. Video Trump Kim Jong-un is a sick puppy Donald Trump has continued to ramp up the rhetoric towards North Korea, labeling Kim Jong-un a sick puppy during a speech in Missouri this week. And tensions could be set to rise further as the U.S. is due to begin major joint military exercises with South Korean forces on Monday. Such drills have been labeled as provocation by Pyongyang in the past. Officials in Hawaii have spent months briefing the public on what action to take in the event of an attack. It is estimated that Hawaiians would have less than 20 minutes before the missile arrived. It perhaps explains the reaction of some to the siren test. Video New video of Kim at latest missile launch Karen Lindsay, who was eating lunch in a beach park in Honolulu, said it's great to alert us, I guess, to say our last goodbyes, which is basically all you can do. You just hope it never comes to that. Sitting in a hammock in the same park, Thomas Haynes said we heard it quite clearly, and it was effective. I just didn't know what it was for. I assumed it was a test. I thought if it is a nuclear missile attack, there is nothing I can do about it, so I'm just going to relax. It is possibly not the reaction Hawaiian officials were hoping for. The state's governor, David Ige, has tried to reassure islanders. We would emphasize that the possibility of attack today is very remote but we do believe that it is important that we be proactive, that we plan, and are prepared for every possibility moving forward, he said.